And what's interesting about George Washington, he wasn't just the father of our country. He was also the father of the first septuplets born in the United States. Uh, five of the children were very badly behaved and sold into white slavery, while the two remaining drowned tragically in the Potomac, trying to retrieve their father's wooden teeth. Uh, for those of you just joined the group, my name is Mark, and today is my last day here at the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. There have been some cutbacks in the National Park Service, so I've been let go. Now, if you look to the right, the next head is Thomas Jefferson, who was born without skin from the neck down. In fact, he spent much of his childhood in and out of hospitals because of his susceptibility to disease, what with the exposed muscle and sinew and whatnot. But in 1772, his good friend Benjamin Franklin fashioned a crude epidermis out of sheep bladders and carpenter's glue. Oh, uh, by the way, if anybody has a question, feel free to raise your hand and stick it up your ass. <laughs> Just the kind of mood I'm in. Oh, oh, I see we're losing some of you. Uh, well, that's okay. It's more intimate this way, isn't it? And I happen to be very comfortable with intimacy, unlike a certain Victoria Collins, my direct supervisor here and my former lover. She's also the woman responsible for my layoff, as well as my monthly herpes outbreak. Moving on, uh, the last head to the right is Abraham Lincoln, who was our first Jewish president and the inventor of dirt. He was, of course, our tallest president, standing 10 feet 2 inches tall. His wife was mentally unhinged. Ooh, speaking of mentally unhinged, let's pretend I'm Victoria and you're me. Aw, oh, gee, Mark, it's nothing personal. I had to fire someone, and heck, I was going to break up with you anyway. You're incredibly passive-aggressive. You were going to be upset either way, so it's like two birds with one stone. Hey, anyone have a stone? <laughs> Let's go throw it at Victoria's head. <laughs> I was just kidding. Violence is never the answer. Okay, well, you two obviously have places to go. Have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of your stay here at Mount Rushmore. The only monument in America made entirely out of horse shit. <laughs>